Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Knockrinder, and on Tuesday we are talking about Microsoft Patch Day. And this, by the way, is despite the fact that at Microsoft's Ignite conference last week, they said they're no longer going to be doing a monthly patch cycle for Windows 10. Despite that news, there is Patch Day this May, and Microsoft has released a number of updates, basically 13 bulletins covering 48 vulnerabilities in most of their popular products. These include, of course, Windows, Internet Explorer, Office, the .NET framework, and Silverlight. Now, there's no point in giving you all the details, but if I were you, I would focus on the Internet Explorer update first. It fixes over 20 flaws in the popular browser, which bad guys can use in drive-by download attacks, which are pretty common. There's also a couple of critical Windows vulnerabilities, for instance, a flaw in Windows font driver. And this means that if a bad guy can get you to open a web page or a document with a malicious font, he can execute code on your computer. So if you are a Microsoft administrator, moral of the story is definitely try to apply all of these updates as soon as you can. Start with the critical ones first. One additional note, if you use WatchGuard XTM or Firebox appliances and you have our IPS service, we do have a number of signatures that can protect you from many of these new vulnerabilities. So make sure to have your IPS update regularly. And by the way, I mentioned the Adobe update yesterday. Adobe did release that reader update I mentioned, and they also released a Flash update as well. So once you patch Microsoft's flaws, you might want to go after the Adobe ones too. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.